factoring polynomials. Factors, either numbers or polynomials. When an integer is written as a product of integers, each of the integers in the product is a factor of the original number. When a polynomial is written as a product of polynomials, each of the polynomials in the product is a factor of the original polynomial. Factoring, writing a polynomial as a product of polynomials. Greatest common factor or GCF, the largest quantity that is a factor of all the integers or polynomials involved. And finding the GCF or the greatest common factor of a list of integers or terms, number one, prime factor the numbers, number two, identify common prime factors, number three, take the product of all common prime factors. If there are no common prime factors, GCF is one. So example, find the GCF of each list of numbers. Number one, we have two numbers, 12 and eight. And the factor of 12, two times two times three. And the factor of 8, 2 times 2 times 2. So the GCF or the greatest common factor, 1 and 2. So there are 2, number 2. So 2 times 2, that's equal to 4. So the GCF is equal to 4. Example number 2, 7 and 20. The factor of 7 is 1 times 7. And the factor of 20, that's 2 times 2 times 5 or equal to 20 and based on the factors of 7 and 20 there are no common prime factors so the GCF is equal to 1 number 3 we have 3 numbers 6 8 and 46 the factor of 6 that's 2 times 3 the factor of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2 and the factor of 46 that's 2 times 23 so the GCF is common factor of 6, 8, and 46 is only 2. So therefore, GCF is 2. Number 4, 144, 256, and 300. The factor of 144 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And that's equal to 144. For the second number, 256, and the factors, or the factor is 2 times 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 2, times two, times two, times two. 8 2s, and it is equivalent to 256. While 300, the factor is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5, which is equivalent to 300. So the GCF is 2 times 2, 2, and another 2. And it is equivalent to 4. So GCF for number 4, which is 144, 256, and 300 is equivalent to 4. Find the GCF of each list of terms based on terms. Number 1, x cubed and x7. There are 3x for x cubed, so x times x times x. And there are 7x for x exponent 7 or x times x times x times x times x times x times x so the GCF is 1x 2x and 3x or there are 3x so x times x times x or equivalent to x cubed number 2 6x exponent 5 and 4x exponent 3 and the factor of 6x Exponent 5 is 2 times 3 times 5x. So x times x times x times x times x. And for 4x four cubed, the factor is 2 times 2. And there are 3x. So x times x times x. So the GCF is 2, 1, 2, 3x. So 2 times x times x times x. Or 2x cubed. And that's example number 2. A cubed, B squared. A squared, B fifth. And A4, B seven. Factor of A cubed, B squared is A times A times A times B times B. And the factor of A squared, B fifth is A times A times B times B times B times B times B. 
and the factor of a for b7 is equal to there are four a's so a times a times a times a and there are seven b so b times b times b times b times b times b times b so the gcf is 1a 2a and b b1 and b2 so therefore a times a times b times b and the gcf is equal to a squared b squared and for factoring polynomials factoring out the gcf or the greatest common factor the first step in factoring a polynomial is to find the gcf of all its terms then we write the polynomial as a product by factoring out the gcf from all the terms lastly the remaining factors in each term will form a polynomial example factor out the gcf in each of the following polynomials number one six x cubed minus nine x squared plus twelve x and the factor of six x cubed is three times two x times x squared minus nine x squared and the factor of nine is three times three and x times x and the factor of twelve is three times four and x factor out 3 and x, so that's 3x, and the remaining value for first term is 2x squared. Second term is negative 3x, and third term plus 4. So the factor based on GCF is 3x times 2x squared minus 3x plus 4, and that's number 1. Number 2, 14x cubed y plus 7x squared y minus 7xy and the factor for the first term 14x cubed y is 7 times 2 times x times x squared times y and the factor of the second term is 7x squared y is 7 times x times y times x and the factor of 7xy is 7xy times 1 common factor for all terms 7x and y factor out 7xy and the remaining values in the first term is 2x squared the remaining value for the second term is plus x and the remaining value for the third term is negative 1 and this is the factor which is 7xy multiplied by 2x squared plus x minus 1 next factoring trinomials there are three terms, so x squared plus bx plus c. Recall by using the FOIL method that f for the first two terms, o outside terms, i inside terms, and l last terms. So x plus 2 times x plus 4 is equal to first term, x times x, that's x squared. Outside term, so x times 4, or 4x i inside terms so 2 times x and l last terms 2 times 4 or 8 and x squared 4x plus 2x that's 6x and 8 so x squared plus 6x plus 8 is the value and to factor x squared plus bx plus c into x the first term plus one number that's the binomial multiplied by another binomial and the first term is x plus another number note that b is the sum of two numbers and c is the product of the two numbers so example factor the polynomial x squared plus 13x plus 30 since our two numbers must have a product of 30 and a sum of 13 the two numbers must both be positive so positive factors of 30 c is equivalent to the first factor is 1 and 30 so 1 times 30 is 30 and sum of factors is 1 plus 30 or 31 another positive factor for 30 is 2 times 15 and if we sum up it is 2 plus 15 or 17 another factor is 3 times 10 or 3 and 10 which is equivalent to 30 and the sum of factors is 13. Based on the 
given P is equivalent to 13. Then, we will use the value or the factors 3 and 10, which is equivalent to x squared plus the first value, which is 10x, plus another value or factor is 3x plus 30. Factor out the first two terms, factor out x, so x, and the remaining value is x plus 10. And factor out 3, that's x plus 30 over 3 is 10, so 3 times x plus 10. And we factor out x plus 10, and the first term is x, and the second term is 3. Or, the factor is x plus 3 times x plus 10. This is based on factoring polynomial. Example, factor the polynomial x squared minus 11x plus 24. Since our two numbers must have a product of 24, which is C, and a sum of negative 11, that's B. The two numbers must have both B negative. First factor for 24 is negative 1 times negative 24, the positive 24. And the sum of factors, negative 1 plus negative 24 is negative 25. Another factor or negative factor for the value of 24 is negative 2 times negative 12. Negative 2 times negative 12 is positive 24. And the sum of factors of negative 2 and negative 12 is negative 14. And another factor is negative 3 times negative 8. And the sum or the product of negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. And the sum of factors for negative 3 and negative 8 is negative 11. Based on the given, b is negative 11. So therefore, we will use the negative factors of negative 3 and negative 8. So that's x squared minus 8x minus 3x plus 24. And same process, factor out the first two terms with a common value, which is x. So x factor out, and the remaining is x minus 8. And for the third and fourth term, negative 3x plus 24, factor out 3 or negative 3, so that's negative 3, and the remaining value is x, and positive to negative. So 24 over 3, that's 8, or negative 8. Factor out common terms, which is x minus 8, x minus 8, and the remaining value is x and minus 3. So the factor is equivalent to x minus 3 times x minus 8. That's based on the negative factors of negative 3 and negative 8. Next, factoring by grouping. Factoring polynomials often involves additional techniques after initially factoring out the GCF or greatest common factor. One technique is factoring by grouping. Example, so factor xy plus y plus 2x plus 2 by grouping. So you group first xy plus y. And another group is 2x plus 2. And identify the common factor for two terms. That's for the first two terms, that's y. So x times y plus 1 times y. And for the next two terms, 2x plus 2, common factor is 2x or 2 and 2. So 2x plus 2 times 1. Common factor, that's y times x plus 1. Also, factor out 2. And the remaining is x plus 1. Factor out y plus 2. So the factor for this example based on grouping is x plus 1 times y plus 2. Factoring a fourth term polynomial by grouping. Number 1. Arrange the terms so that the first two terms must have a common factor. And the last two terms have a common factor. Number 2. For each pair of terms, Use the distributive property to factor out the pair's greatest common factor or GCF. Number three, if there is now a common binomial factor, factor it out. Number four, if there is no common binomial factor in step three, begin again, rearranging the terms differently. If no rearrangement leads to a common binomial factor, the polynomial cannot be factored. So example, x cubed plus 4x plus x squared plus 4. So the first two terms, 
the common factor is x, so x times x squared plus x times 4. For the third and fourth term, the common factor is 1. So 1 times x squared plus 1 times 4. And factor out the first two terms with a common factor, which is x. So x and the remaining value is x squared plus 4. And factor out 1 and the remaining value is x squared plus 4. Factor out, so x squared plus 4 and the remaining value x plus 1. So the factor, for example, x cubed plus 4x plus x squared plus 4 is x squared plus 4 times x plus 1. Factoring perfect square. Any trinomial that factors into a single binomial squared is called a perfect square trinomial. And for the shortcut for squaring a binomial based on the formula, number 1, a plus b square, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Number 2, the difference of two terms squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Number 3, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the sum of a plus b squared. And number 4, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, it is equal to the difference of a and b or a minus b squared. So example, factor the polynomial given. 16x squared minus 8xy plus y squared. And identify first the first term, that's 16x squared, and based on the given, 16, a perfect square of 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. And factor out 4x and square. So 4 times 4, that's 16. x times x, that's x squared. Factor out 2 and 4, 2 times 4x times y and the last term that's y squared a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared and the formula a minus b squared and a is 4x b is y so the factor based on the square of a binomial is 4x minus y squared Note, you can use FOIL method to verify that the factorization for the polynomial is accurate. Difference of two squares. Another shortcut for factoring a trinomial is when we want to factor the difference of two squares. So a squared minus b squared, the first term square minus or the second term square, and the value is equal to or the formula is a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And that's the difference of two squares the sum of the first and second term multiplied by the difference of the first and second term. A binomial is the difference of two square if both terms are squares. That's a squared and b squared. And the signs of the terms are different or negative sign. So example, 9x squared minus 25 and we factor out that's 3x squared. The factor of 25 is 5 squared. Based on the formula, a squared minus b squared, that's a, 3x, b is 5. So, the formula is a plus b or 3x plus b or 5 times a, 3x, negative b or negative 5. Expression 9x squared minus 25 is 3x plus 5 times 3x minus 5. Example, factor each of the following polynomials. Number 1, 8x4 minus 4x cubed plus 10x squared. 8x4 minus 4x cubed plus 10x squared. First step, create this common factor or the GCF. And for the constant, the factor of 8, 2 and 4, factor of 4 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 and factor of 10 is 2 times 5. The GCF for the constant is 2 
and the lowest exponent for this example is 2 so therefore extract x squared so you have the GCF for constant 2 and the GCF for variable is x squared and factor out 2 x squared and 8 x 4 divide divide by 2 x squared that's 4 x 4 over x 2 that's 4 minus 2 or x squared next negative 4 x cubed just copy the negative sign 4 over 2 x cubed over x squared 3 minus 2 1 or x plus copy the sign 10 over 2 that's 5 x squared over x squared 2 minus 2 is 0 x exponent 0 is equal to 1 and 1 so the factor is 2 x squared times 4 x squared minus 2 x plus 5 and this is the answer number 2 9 x squared times 2 x plus 7 minus 12 x times 2 x plus 7 we have two terms 9 x squared times 2 x plus 7 and another is 12 x times 2 x plus 7 and we have like terms that's 2 x plus 7 and another 2 x plus 7 factor out 2 x plus 7 2 x plus 7 open close parenthesis and 9 x squared times 2 x plus 7 divide divide by 2 x plus 7 and the value is 9 x squared copy the sign negative 12 x times 2 x plus 7 all over 2 x plus 7 and the remaining value is 12 x check if this is the final factor if not then you continue 2 x plus 7 and check for the factor of 9 3 9 3 times 3 the factor of 12 is also 3 times 4 and the GCF is equal to 3 and for the variable x the lowest exponent is 1 so therefore the GCF is x and then factor out 3x and this is 3x and open close parenthesis and then 9x squared over 3x 9 over 3 is 3 and 3 x squared over x 2 minus 1 or x copy the sign negative 12 over 3 that's 4 x over x 1 minus 1 is 0 so x exponent 0 is 1 so therefore the value is 4 and the value is 2 x plus 7 times 3 x times 3 x minus 4 this is the factor number 3 x exponent 5 plus x minus 2 x exponent 4 minus 2 there are four terms and you try to group per two terms first two terms x fifth plus x they have a common factor that's x and the third and fourth term the common factor is 2 so x exponent 5 plus x the common factor is x x x exponent 5 divided divide by x 5 minus 1 or x exponent 4 plus x over x is 1 minus 1 is 0 x exponent 0 is 1 next the common factor is negative 2 and negative 2 so factor out negative 2 then negative 2 x 4 divide divide by negative 2 that's positive x exponent 4 next negative 2 divide divide by negative 2 positive 1 next factor out x exponent 4 plus 1 
open close parenthesis, x times x4 plus 1 divided by x4 plus 1, and the value is x negative 2 times x4 plus 1 divided by x4 plus 1, or exponent 4 plus 1, and the remaining value is negative 2. Therefore, the factor in problem number 3, it is equivalent to x exponent 4 plus 1 times x minus 2. Two. And this is the answer. Example number 4. x squared plus 6x plus 9. There are three terms, x squared, 6x, and 9. Using the factoring trinomials, which is x squared plus bx plus c. And always put two parentheses, open close parentheses. The first parentheses should have a binomial and another binomial, value x and another x. The first number and the second number, when added, it should be the value b. And the first and the second number, when multiplied, it should be the value c. The factor of value c, that's 9, is equal to 3 times 3 and positive and the value for x squared or the constant is 1 and it is the factor is 1 times 1 3 times 1 that's 3 3 times 1 that's 3 and you add then the value is 6 it is equivalent to b so the factor is x plus 3 and another x plus 3 and this will be the factor and using the FOIL method to verify that the factor is the same value of the given and by checking FOIL method so FOIL first term x squared outside term x times 3 that's 3x plus inside term so 3 times x that's also 3x and last term negative uh, 3 times 3 positive 9 and simplify x squared 3x plus 3x plus 6x and plus 9 and this is correct the value for number 4 x plus 3 times x plus 3 and this is the answer number 5 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. Using factoring trinomials, always put two parentheses. And in this case, that's 3x squared. Therefore, the factor for 3x squared should be 3x and x. So this will be 3x and x. Next, the last term is negative 8. And the factor for negative 8, the factor should be a plus and a negative sign. Plus and negative. So, negative 8, the factor of 8 is 4 and 2. Let's check for positive 2 and negative 4. And the factor for 3, for the first constant term, is 3. And the factor is 3 and 1. So, 3 times uh, 2 times 3, that's 6. And negative 4 times 1, that's negative 4. When we add the factor, so 6 minus 4, and the value is 2, which is equivalent to b, and the value is 2. And the factor is correct. So the combination should be 3 and 2. So 3x, and this will be positive 2, x or 1, negative 4 and this will be negative 4 for the first number and the second number should be positive 2 and this is the factor if we check based on the fall method 3x minus 4 times x plus 2 by checking 3x times x that's 3x squared 3x times 2 that's positive 6x Negative 4x, negative 4 times x, negative 4x, 
negative 4 times 2, negative 8. And simplify, 3x squared plus 6x minus 4x is equal to positive 2x and copy negative 8, which is the same value in our given. 3x minus 4 times x plus 2 is the factor. Example number 6. x4, x exponent 4, minus 25. And this is a binomial. And let's check for the difference of two squares. And the formula for difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b and a minus b. And let's check for a squared. The first term is x4 and a is equal to x squared. When we square a or x squared, x squared square is also a squared and the value is x exponent 4 or a squared. So therefore a is equal to x squared and b and for 25 the factor of 25 is equal to 5 times 5 and this will be b times b or 25 or b squared is equal to 25 so therefore b is equal to 5 and using the formula difference of two squares a plus b times a minus b where a is equal to x squared x squared plus b that's 5 a is x squared minus b also 5 based on difference of two squares using factorial and this is the answer number 7 3x exponent 4 minus 3x exponent 3 minus 36x squared using GCF the factor for the constant the factor is 3 and the lowest exponent for the three terms x or the variable x is 2 GCF or the greatest common factor is 3x squared and then factor out 3x squared 3x exponent 4 divided by, by 3x squared 3 over 3 1 and x4 or exponent 4 divided by, by x squared 4 minus 2 x squared next negative 3x cubed divided by, by 3x squared copy the sign negative 3 over 3 is 1 x cubed divided by, by x squared 3 minus 1 is or 3 minus 2 is 1 or this will be x and copy the sign negative 36 over 3 12 or 12 times 3 is 36 so copy 12 x squared over x squared is 2 minus 2 or 0 x exponent 0 is 1 and close parenthesis and let's check if this will be the final factor so 3x squared, just copy. What about the trinomial? x squared minus x minus 12. Let's check using the uh, factoring trinomial. So that's x squared plus bx plus c. And c is negative 12. And b is negative 1. c is negative 12. And the factor for negative 12 is equal to 3 and 4 while the factor for the first term or the constant 1 is equal to 1 times 1 and then let's check for the negative sign is it positive 3 or negative 4 or negative 3 or positive 4 by multiplying 3 times 1 that's 3 4 times 1 that's 4 the sum of the factor should be the value is b or it is equivalent to negative 1. If we put negative in this case, this will be negative 3. And the sum, 
and this will be positive and the sum is positive 1 which is not B and let's check if we put negative at 4 this is negative 4 so 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 and 3 times 1 is positive 3 negative 4 times 1 that's negative 4 and if we sum up the factors so 3 minus 4 and the value is negative 1 which is equivalent to B which is the same in the value negative 1 therefore the combination of the two binomials should be x and x the first combination is 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 positive and another combination is negative 4 and 1 or for the x factor that's 1 1 and the pair is negative 4 and this will be negative 4 the factor problem number 7 is 3x squared times x minus 4 times x plus 2 and this is the answer the last number number 8 x exponent 4 plus x squared minus 20 and in this case let x squared should be another value which is a variable that's u and x exponent 4 if this is u or x squared Therefore, x exponent 4 is u squared. Why? Because u is equal to x squared. When we put a square in u and we put square at x squared, therefore u squared is equal to x 2 times 2 or x exponent 4, which is equivalent to the first term. And by substituting, u squared plus u minus 20 then we factor out based on factoring trinomial the negative 20 and the factor of negative 20 is 4 and 5 the value is 1 and the factor of 1 is 1 times 1 and 4 times 1 is 4 5 times 1 is 5 constant 4 so negative 4 times 1 that's negative 4 and this will be positive so positive 5 times 1 positive and the sum of the factors is equal to 5 minus 4 or 1 which is equivalent to b in the factoring trinomial so positive 1 and this is correct so the combination of the two binomials u and another u the first number is negative 4 and 1 so this is 1 and the combination is negative 4 and another combination is 1 and positive 5 so 1 and positive 5 after factoring change the value u to x squared where u is equals to x squared u which is x squared plus 5 open close parenthesis and u that's x squared minus 4 once you change the value u to the original variable you check if there will be another factor in the binomial which is x squared plus 5 none what about x squared minus 4 which is based on the given difference of two squares wherein a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b and a minus b and x squared minus 4 x squared is a squared therefore a is equal to x squared and negative 4 that's negative the factor of 4 is 2 times 2 or 2 squared so therefore a is equals to x and b is equal to 2 using the difference of two squares the formula a plus b times a minus b just copy the first binomial x squared plus 5 and 
using the formula a plus b or x plus 2 x plus 2 and a minus b or x minus 2 x minus 2 and the factor for problem number 8 is x squared plus 5 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 and this is the answer Thank you.